If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about my unread books, aka my giant physical TBR. So we're going to go through my bookshelves. You might notice that there are some changes. Uh, we're going to go through each shelf and I'm going to show you kind of the before after. I'll turn around the books that I have read. And I thought to make it more fun instead of me naming every name, which let's be real with my accent, it would not happen. Uh, I thought I would just let you know from each shelf which book I'm looking forward to reading the most type of thing. So kind of just an exciting pile of books that I want to talk about. <laughs> Let's get to it. Okay, so uh, as you might remember, my books are divided by genre. So this is what this looks like. We're not going to do the books on top because I gave up on those. They're probably going to get... Uh, unhauled eventually. So, uh, the first first one is adult fantasy. And uh, you can notice that a lot of them have not been read. And yep, let, let's just stop there. <laughs> uh, there is actually one that is missing right there that is part of uh, one of my challenges for this year. So I am slowly going through this one. It's probably the one I'm the most excited about. I have been meaning to read some of that one I know a lot of people wanted me to read it and uh, I'm currently reading book two in this series so I'm slowly uh, going through that one and I am uh, also planning on reading more Mark Lawrence so that will happen not anything on this one that really stands out except for the book that is missing in the second one uh, it's a little bit the same thing really uh, there are some of them that I do want to read uh, and no luck will see the Princess Bride and be like, you didn't read this. I know. Eventually. Uh, from this shelf, which one am I the most excited about reading? Probably uh, The Lies of Luke Lamora. Or maybe this series, which... Let me move it one second. Um, what else? What else? I do... You, you might notice it's missing. I am planning on reading the first book this year. I have yet to read that one, but I'm kind of so... so I'm, I'm afraid I'm not going to love it to be honest. Uh, oh, I just realized I didn't turn this one around. There you go. Okay. Uh, so yes, another one that I didn't read that many. By the way, when I'm going through all of these, definitely let me know which ones I should prioritize and read as soon as possible. So uh, the third one is my Brendan Sanderson <laughs> shelf. Which you can see, I have read quite a few of the books on this shelf. Um, I have yet to continue this series because it's my least favorite series by him. I do want to read these two, but they're more Y. And after having read uh, that other Y series, I'm kind of eh. Uh, this one, I'm waiting to have read these to read it. So I have read quite a few books by him. I am planning, once again, on reading the first book in The, uh, the Way of King, basically. Uh, again, this year. Hopefully next month. And uh, yeah, I mean, I have read quite a few. So that's probably the next one. It's also not on that shelf. So that book is on the challenge shelf and that's probably the next one I will be reading. Actually, I'm currently reading Skyward, which is also not on here because it's in my bedroom. So I'm currently reading some. Then <laughs> you might notice that this one is read mostly because I just piled a bunch of my favorite fantasy books. Um, I am planning on reading more by N.K. Jemisin, so these two are right there. I am planning, again, the first book is in the challenge shelf, uh, this series very soon. Same thing with actually the first book in this series, so, uh, that is mostly done. That's pretty good. And then you have, uh, this one, which is mostly YA fantasy, but it's kind of a mix. A lot of these are series that I need to continue or begin by author I have read something else by. If I have to choose the one I'm looking forward to reading the most. Uh, starting, it would have to be this trilogy, The Queen of Tearling. But uh, I'm just not ready to start more series. I have started way too many. I need to finish some. So that's probably why. Otherwise, I do really want to read King of Scars because of the character it's all about. So yes, quite a few on here that I am excited about. Uh, this is the mess of a shelf. And there are a few more books on the floor, which we're going to pretend don't exist right now because that's my last haul video. Um, a lot of these I'm kind of on the fence. That's kind of why they end up 
on this shelf really. I'm planning actually on doing on here I have a bunch of YA ones which I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy them or not so I think I might do like a unhaul you know read the first chapter of five books decide which one I'm keeping or not keeping and maybe it's gonna make me want to finish them so that's probably what's gonna happen with some of these on here otherwise which one I am personally excited on reading I do want to read uh, the bone season which I know it's actually adult but this series this shelf is kind of a mix also that's what happens with these two they're kind of just a mess uh, yeah that's probably mostly what it is for this one so this was most of my fantasy books if not all of them uh, this one is my Harry Potter one which you have seen and uh, is uh, dark materials so I have read most of the books on this one uh, I have not read the illustrated ones yet I am planning on doing that but I just want to like fully commit and maybe I'll wait until I have all of them maybe probably won't have the patient but maybe and I want to read the two of the ones that I have yet to read from the Harry Potter world because I always want more so yes that is pretty much fully read so I kept mentioning my challenge shelf. This is it. Uh, the two books right here are the ones that I read this month. So those are all the other ones that I absolutely want to try and read this year. Uh, so honestly, all of these are books that I really, really want to read. So I can't really choose a favorite, like a number one here, but hopefully I get to read all of them, if not at least most of them this year. So this is the biggest change in this whole video. It's because I have two rainbow shelves that you usually see in my background. The first one being books I have read and the other one's book I have not read, which is why this whole thing is <laughs> like this and the other one is fully visible. That's where Emily chills. Uh, which one am I looking forward to reading the most? Oof. Uh, definitely to be thought a fortunate by Becky Chambers because I really want to read this one by her. Um, yeesh, my glass of water. Um, I, there are so many. Oh, I really want to read uh, This Is How You Lose the Time War. Yeah, those are definitely two of the ones I'm looking forward to reading the most for sure. Uh, this is also kind of messy. That's why it's usually behind a chair. Um, this is kind of a mix of contemporary literary fiction, historical fiction, um, yeah, and romance. <laughs> Not my usual genre. Uh, which one do I really want to read in this one? Um, The Unseen World, actually. The Unseen World is definitely one of them that I really want to read. It's behind here. Oh my. Oh, The Book Teeth, I definitely want to read. Yeah, those are probably the main two that I really want to read, like ASAP. What's in here? Oh, apparently The Servant King is really good too for a YA book, so let me know. I might have to read this, this during the summer. I'm more contemporary uh, during the summer. Uh, the bottom one is classics. Uh, it goes up there. Um, as you can see, I didn't read that many classics, but I have made some progress lately. So, which one do I really want to read? I know everyone is going to tell me to read uh, East of Eden. I need to, but it's so thick. I tried. You can see, actually. <laughs> I tried, but uh, I have yet to continue. Uh, what else do I really want to read? Quite frankly, I want to read... Like, I like the idea of reading more classics, but I haven't in a while. Actually, I have read for one week in February, which was a challenge, but... Um, I do want to read more French classics, actually. I'm starting to, like, miss it, so I might have to... Well, I do want to read Le Comte de Monte Cristo Part 2, because <laughs> at this point, huh? Um, and then I have some more Jane Austen. So those are probably the ones I want to read the most. This is such a messy shelf. Uh, this is my nonfiction shelf. I have too many for one. I should probably just admit it to myself and have two bookshelves for it. Two shelves, I should say, for it. Uh, I tend to usually use my library for them, so that's probably why I'm trying to just be like, no, no, I just need one when I really need more. Um, I tend to like the science ones, but I've been trying to get more into like other stuff, and so far I am enjoying it. Uh, the ones I really want to read this year, actually there's one in this shelf too. The Demon Hunted World, that's definitely like my number one. 
and by the same author I definitely want to read Pale Blue Dot. Um, I do want to read more by this author and what's behind this? I do want to read these two, uh, The Emperor of All Maladies, <laughs> I can never say that in English, and Jean, the boat books I really want to read. Uh, I've been, oh, it's been on my shelf for so long in order to live. Okay, now we are in the sci-fi section for the rest of this bookshelf. Uh, you can see that this one I have not read that many. That's because this is my thick hard sci-fi section, which intimidates the crap out of me. Um, which ones do I really, really want to read? I have heard that this is a first contact with aliens, so that's definitely up there. This one has been on my TBR for so long. Uh, it literally starts with the moon exploding, which, <laughs> yes, please. So yes, they're all books I really want to read, but these are definitely the main ones, I think. In the next one, it's also, I believe, heart sci-fi. Uh, these are the ones I started, these two. <laughs> I need to finish them, but you know, that's what happens when you have challenges. Uh, which ones do you really, really want to read? Mmm... I think this is also First Contact with Aliens, which I'm on a kick right now. I definitely want to read that one. Um, and then I want to finish these two. That's definitely the main thing. Oh, look, more sci-fi. Uh, these are my classic uh, Masterworks editions. The ones I really wanted to read for this one. There's this one because it's the uh, post-apocalyptic ones, which I just did a video about the ones I have read and the ones I want to read so that definitely is fresh in my mind and what else was there other than that I do really want to read more by this author I have two of her books right here those are two that I really really want to read ASAP and I believe that's another first contact with aliens I really want to like make it a priority to read those ASAP because again I'm in the mood so why read anything other than stuff I really want to read right then, this one, I have read a lot of the books, so that's pretty good. I do really want to read this one. I just got these ones, so definitely want to read them. I've been meaning to read more classic ones. Maybe that's the one I will pick up. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably the ones I want to read the most. A bit of a mess. There's always that one shelf, huh? Uh, I do, I think the one I want to read the most is this one, The Knife of Never Letting Go. It was supposed to become a movie last year, I think, and I had put it in my TBR, and then when it was pushed back, I decided to push it back too. <laughs> this is my Stephen King one. I'm kind of on defense about him lately, so I don't know. Uh, I had seen the TV show for this one, which I made me want to read the book, but... I don't know anymore. <laughs> and this is more by him and some by his son, so yeah. Uh, this shelf is where it starts being more like mystery horror thriller. And I have <laughs> my aluminum hat, so there's that. Uh, which one? I really want to read uh, John Dies at the End. It was highly recommended to me. And I have yet to read Gone Girl, so maybe I should make that happen. Okay, more mystery thriller horror. Those are the ones I have not read. Ah, uh, which one do I really want to read? I kind of want to read uh, A Head Full of Ghosts just so I can decide if I give up completely on the author. <laughs> that's kind of negative, but yeah, that's kind of true. And maybe I should just do, I received a few of them as uh, arcs, and maybe I should do like a, try to read all the arcs that I have just to try and go through them. Two, these two shelves actually are kind of just books I got in hauls and I have yet to put them on my shelf, so it's a mess. So I really want to read this one. Oh, I have read that one, uh, but I really want to read that one. That's definitely uh, high on my shelf. And actually I have read that one too. Put this there, but like, you know I've read that. <laughs> and then on this shelf, uh, the one I want to read the most is this one because it was highly recommended to me. 
I do want to read these, but again, it's the same author as earlier, Ursula Killeguin, which these are humongous and scary, but very pretty. So I should probably force myself to read like one short story once in a while. Because I use my library a lot, like about 50% almost of the books that I read last year were from my library. I feel like I go back and forth between reading the books that I own and then completely neglecting them. So uh, that's kind of why one of my challenges that I did this year in uh, February was to choose, well choose, <laughs> pick from a jar a shelf and that's the one I was trying to only read of which ended up being <laughs> just sticking to that genre because I kept using once again my library which is a good thing but uh, I do want to try and go through my physical TBR also. Uh, keep in mind that uh, I tend to get rid of the books I do on hauls every year actually in June so I think I should just make it official every June I will do an unhaul video and then I donate the books that I have either to my library usually because they have amazing sales and they make money that way and I do want to support my library. So that's usually what I do. So yeah, the books I didn't like or the books that uh, I don't really care about, don't want to read and just want to donate, that's what I do. And yeah, that's kind of why I end up not having that many books that I have read still on my shelf. But uh, I'm realizing that I had more than I thought. I thought I had like maybe like 30% of the books that I own I had read, which actually maybe it is the case. I should probably try and count it, give me no, actually, I'll put it in the screen because there's no way I can count it this quickly. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that's that bad. I feel like I thought I had more books that I hadn't read than that. So I'm pretty satisfied with my physical TBR. It is an insane amount of books, not gonna lie. I do go through around 100 books every year. So overall, I'm okay having all these books with me. Uh, right now, I definitely have time to read some. So I kind of kind of quickly and included the books on the top and... I have read about 200 books on my bookshelves and I have just under 700 books. So I was saying around 30%. I'm a genius, just gonna say it. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section at which of these books you think I should really make a priority to read ASAP. I definitely want to do more of those like one shelf, one week type of thing just going through my physical TBR, but I never want to have zero books on my bookshelves. You know, some people are like, oh, you know, I'm never gonna catch up. That's a good thing. I never wanna feel like I don't know what to read. Like I have zero books that I'm interested in. That would suck. So yeah, this is gonna be it for my unread uh, pile of books, my big physical TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video very soon. Bye.